Welcome back to Shop Talk. Today we're going to fire up the new hot tent stove we built in a previous episode and running through some tests and see how it works. So let's get started. Let that go. We let that go for a while. Let this burn off. Let this galvanization burn off for a while, and we'll be back. So we're back on day two here. The first burn in on this stove, I just kind of filled it up and kept feeding it while I worked in the yard and let it off gas and just kind of stayed away. So today I lit it again for its second burn in. It's been running for about a half an hour here. So I'll kind of show you how it's working here, and we'll kind of go over it. Then finally we'll do the boil test and see how it works. Let's take a peek. So the stove isn't nice and shiny anymore. So as it burns off that galvanization, obviously it turns that that matte gray. Looks like it's, it's burned in pretty nicely so far. I've I had it ripping pretty good that first first day. I have it going pretty good now. Let's open up the door. I'll kind of show you what we have going on here. So one thing I noticed when I opened the door on this, I do get, I would get a lot of smoke in the tent. I'm not exactly sure how to prevent that. I checked my uh, spark arrestor and it's not plugged. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but the instant I shut the door, you know, it, it stops and I don't get any out the the inlet there at all. So I'm, op I'm open to advice there as to what I'm doing wrong. Seems to be burning real efficiently now that it's warmed up quite a bit. I don't see any smoke really coming out the out the chimney. So that baffle must be helping with some sort of secondary combustion, I would think. I don't know if you can make out the baffle in there or not, but the flames are just heating up that baffle plate. I think that's where we're getting some secondary combustion. So, so far I'm, I'm happy with this stove. It's, you can throw a lot of wood in this thing and it's got a lot of thermal mass to it with all that wood in there. I don't think I would get the ups and downs like I do with my slightly smaller titanium stove and definitely with the paint can stove. So, so far this seems like a solid option and this seems like something I would actually bring on my real cold trips. This would be definitely be the stove I would bring with me. So. Let's get to the boil test. Let's throw out two cups of water on here and see how long it takes to boil up some water. Given that with a little paint can stove, I left the, the pot uncovered for its boil test. Keep things fair, we'll leave this one uncovered. It's not fair regardless because it's still way bigger, but try to keep it as fair as we can. Zeroing on two minutes. No real action yet. <laughs> Door's warping a little bit on me. Got 
four minutes in here. No real action, but one thing I forgot to do, learned last time from all of you, is choke that stove down when you're trying to boil water. <laughs> all right, we've done that now. Oh, now we're getting some smoke up out through the door. Let's choke it down and let's choke it down in the front too. There. Game on. So we're at 12 minutes here. Starting to see some bubbles make their way to the surface. I'm not sure if you can see that. Starting to see a little bit of action, but still uh, not real lively yet. All right, 25 minutes, 30 seconds exactly. I'm going to call that a boil. <laughs> Let's call that a boil. It's not a full rolling boil, but it will be in a second here. Well, I'm going to call that a success. I still need some practice with the stove. And some of you might be wondering, the stove's huge, why are you testing boiling water? It's, obviously it's going to boil water. Well, now I know how long it's going to take to boil water, worst case scenario. How much wood I'm going to have to gather, you know, and how much it's going to eat through trying to just boil some water. It's good to do these sort of tests before you head into the backcountry. Just get familiar with your gear and just know it inside and out. That way you need to do something, you're just doing it. You're not learning to do it. So I'm going to sign off here. Thanks for checking it out. I hope you enjoyed. And remember, I'm always here to help you separate the signal from the noise. Catch you later.